All right, y'all, I'm gonna answer some of the questions that you have sent in on social media. Let's see what we've got today. Here we go. Figuring out what to do. Quit work, start a business, stay at home mom, work with husband's business. So many options. <laughs> okay, what I love about this question is this person, and maybe you listening, have a lot of interests and a lot of options. Options, y'all, are a good thing. Options are fun, options give you power, it gives you a sense of control. The only problem with a lot of options is that it can be paralyzing. Similar to the way this person worded this, worded this question, you can almost feel overwhelmed by your options because you're not sure which option to take, which path to pursue, which decision is the right one. So, while I can't tell you what you should do of these options, I can give you a framework for deciding that for yourself. So if you're listening to this right now and you feel overwhelmed by your options, whether that's options of a type of business or what work to pursue or just what to do with the next year of your life, I wanna give you a very simple framework that's gonna help you back out of that and hopefully decide what to do that's gonna help you. Okay. As simple as this sounds, I want you to visualize the future. Now, there is a benefit to visualizing the future like five to 10 years from now, but if you're like me, that can feel overwhelming. I've got some commitment issues. I don't really wanna to commit to something 10 years from now. I can think about my life in the next one to three years. So think about your life in the next one to three years. What does it look like? What do you want it to look like? What do you want to be doing? What does that vision look like for you? How are you spending your days? How are you spending your time? How are you using your gifts? How are you interacting with others? When you start to visualize your future, a more short-term future, not a long-term vision, but a, a short-term vision of one to three years, then you start to see a picture of what this looks like. And when you back out of that, it will help you determine what decision to make today that's gonna lead you down that path. What decision is right today that moves you toward that vision? Another way to ask it is what must be true today to make that true in one to three years? So for the person writing this in or any of you in similar shoes, I want you to do this exercise. Rather than focus on all your options right in front of you that are so overwhelming, look up, look out, think about the future. Next year, two years from now, three years from now, what do you wanna be doing? How do you wanna spend your days and your time and your gifts? And when you get that picture, and you may need to spend some time on it, that's okay. You may need to pray about it, that's okay. Talk to your spouse or friends about it, that's great. But once you get it, then hopefully you should be able to back out of that and see clearly which of these options leads you in that direction. It's a great question. You're in a great position to have options, and I hope this helps you pick the right one. All right, let's do one more question. What company do you recommend for creating your brand logo? It's a great question. Similar to the options question, you have a lot of options. I will tell you, I always recommend, when possible, working with a small business owner. So working with a graphic designer, for example. Here's why. When you work with a person that they're running their business, they're a solopreneur, they are a one-man show, one-woman show, you're able to have so much more personal interaction than if you were to use a big company where you're assigned someone that you never even have any inter interaction with. So because this is your brand, it's your business, it's your baby, you probably want this logo to reflect you and your values and your style and your personality. You want it to look a certain way. And so it would be really great to work with an individual that will help you bring that vision to life. I'll tell you within my coaching group, the Business Boutique Academy, there are tons of women that will share services. So we've got graphic designers that are academy members that are doing work for other academy members, whether they're accountants or, or fitness professionals or someone running a hair salon. So if you can find someone in a community you're a part of, whether that's the academy or something else, that's a great way to do it. Another way is just ask around. Post on Facebook, talk to friends, talk to family. There is another business boutique Facebook group that's an open group for anyone. You can certainly seek out those services in that group as well. But if you find a person, then most likely you will have a much more personal touch on your brand logo. I hope that helps.